Hi everybody. Here is a copy of one of the slides that's in your lesson today. We're looking at function machines, hence the robot on there. The main part of what we're looking at is what's happening in the middle here. This is the rule, the function, the formula. There's lots of words that we use to explain what's happening in the middle lot here. So we've got those words in our key words list, I hope. Rule, function, formula, sometimes it's called an equation. Those four things all mean the same thing. And what they're talking about is what is happening in this middle box. In this case today, it's multiplying by seven. If we're going from left to right, if we're going from right to left, then it'll be dividing by seven. Let's have a go at seeing how this works. You look at the input number first, and today it's an eight. Then you do this function to it, and that gives you the output number. So if I add an annotation to this um, video, this will be the sum that I've got in my head. Oh, whoops, I've just given us the answer. But the sum would have been eight, because I've taken it from the input number times seven, because I've taken that from the function in the middle, equals 56, because that will be the output number, and there's my answer. So that's how we get our output number. Another word that we could use for our output number is the answer to the equation. Let's have a look at the next example, and I'll let you do it on your own. We'll, I'll write out the equation and then you can try and do the rest on your own. So we're looking at the input number, which here it tells us is 40. Then we're going to do this function or rule or formula to it, and that's going to give us our output number. So I won't click the slide to give us the answer, but I will hopefully be able to help you along with. Uh, the equation or sum that's going to, ah, oh, I just clicked the answer. I don't know how to get away with that, get a, around that. But our sum for that would have been 40 because that's the input number multiplied by 7 because that's the function and then equals will give us the output number which goes on this side. Have a go at the rest yourself. Do not get tricked by these two. With these two, you are starting with the output number and working backwards. So you'll have to think about what the opposite to multiply, multiply seven is, and sorry about my drawings, but the opposite to multiplication is division, so it'll be dividing by seven to get the input number. See how you go with that. 